to talk about today. First, the brushes that I'm using. This brush I've had since high school. I'm 76. I've probably been using it since I was 16. I have three of these three different sizes. That they were made in West Germany at the time, you know, and it's pony hair and brass. And then it's welded on the, on the sides, hammered and welded on the sides. The hairs do not come out of this brush. In the 60 years I've been using this brush, I don't think I ever had a hair come out of it. But look at the size of the brush. And so it's great for making washes and doing wet into wet. But the technique that I'm gonna show with this brush is it's dry, it's gonna go over a dry surface. So, but I'm gonna be carrying more, much more water And brushes, you can see how light it is. See how much water is in that brush. I'm gonna take some quinacridone red in the watercolor. And it's a Daniel Smith watercolor, so the, the colors are very intense. A good watercolor you don't need much pigment. It carries itself. And the top of the line, I think for all watercolors is Daniel Smith, but there's uh, the uh, Windsor Newtons that, that were always the top of the line when I was a uh, kid. Uh, that, that's important to understand that uh, you pay a little more, but you use less. Okay, I'm going to take that, I'm going to add a little blue to it, some, some cerulean blue. And I'm going to go over the blue that's around this face here. So I want some of that blue to show through. Notice I haven't dipped back into the color. On this side, I want the blue to come through more than on this side. Okay, you can see how the brush, the, the hairs turn with my turns on the going around. This is an important part to understand. This brush just doesn't go flat. It, 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 it's a, you can form, go around the form, and it'll follow the form. It takes a little while to practice with it, but you, you, you get it. Okay, I'm going to wash it out. And as this dries, the blue will come up. Come up. Bluer on this side, or redder on this side. We're going to let that set a little bit. 
difference between a hake brush, this is the Japanese, Chinese make them too now, but the hake brush is goat hair. This is pony hair, this is goat hair. They're both very good at, at, at making what I just did, except this one, I, yeah, I have more control. And the pony hair doesn't, uh, carries just as much water as the goat hair. So both of them are good for making a wash. When I say a wash, I mean you have much more water, you have about three times the amount of water to pigment on the brush. Okay, so you have this, this stays flat more than going in. You can make it, you can do that, but that's about it. But this makes a beautiful washes. Hake, H-A-K apostrophe E. I'm going to use a brush that's made by Daniel Smith that's synthetic and sable mixed, mostly synthetic. And what we're finding out was if you can mix the two, the sable and the synthetic, in other words, the synthetic being a plastic essentially in the brush and the hairs and the sable being the, the natural uh, uh, animal hair from the, uh, from the uh, Siberian, tail of the Siberian sable. And, and it was in the series seven brushes from Windsor Newton, they're the best watercolor brushes made. Uh, they made for Queen uh, Victoria when they brought her the box set of watercolors. They made a special brushes for her and that's the, was the series sevens. The Kolinsky sable. In the, and that's the Siberian sable. That, uh, and so it, what, we, what you're looking at is the hair that only comes from Siberia, of the tail of the Kolinsky sable. This brush doesn't wear out. This brush makes a good point. But it also is, is, is very good at doing small areas with a lot of water. But if you just want a, a little water, that's one thing. But if you want to get a really wet area, you can use this brush and a small little color. And I'm going to take that, the blue that's underneath here, and I'm going to take it and run it. And you can see how that moves. And I'll put it up here. take it and move it and move it and so I can go in there and lighten it make colors coming in in here and lighten it so where I want that blue to, to, to come around to be more persistent yeah, so that it becomes part of this and I mix this into the shoulder. And so you still, you get that little bit of blue up there and a lighter on here. And the neutral that I want in the shirt. Faces, we're talking about the, the human spirit, and I always want some kind of feeling into the into the face or the mask. It doesn't have to be happy, sad, or anything as simple as both of those. It could be somewhere in between. It could be a question. It could be an answer. I don't know until I do it. I don't know until I do it. Is the way to look at art without 
making it mechanical. If you don't know and you get surprised, then the viewer will be surprised. This brush is, is a synthetic brush that's made for uh, going, uh, making the, uh, things more even. The nature of it is to be even. It looks even. It is even. And it, the hairs, the hairs are, that come out of the fernal, this is the final fernal right here. They're coming out. It's almost, it's almost a square. The important thing is that it's even here. Flatter, bright, flatter. This is a flatter. It's made just to do that. So when I would, if I would, when I'm using this, and I want a little bit of red, I can go sideways and make that thin line like that. If I turn this around, I can have this happen. The other thing about this is the handle's short. And if you're traveling, this is a good brush to have. All of your brush handles being short is, is an advantage to traveling because you may just want to pack them in a little, uh, little container and, and it, you, you don't have the long brush. For example, if you had a brush with the long handle, it might get in your way. House paint brushes uh, you make a, make for a, a texture texture. In other words, they because they're cheap bristles, but they are still bristles. So uh, if I put a lot of water on this, it's going to just it's going to make a lot of lines, a lo as long as it, and some floating, but a lot of lines from these hairs sticking out. And this is what the brush looks like after using it three or four times. These, 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 what they call the hard, in a paint store, a throwaway brush. But you get something out of them that you don't get out of the other ones. This is a large throwaway brush here. This is an inch and a half, and it's the bristles. And you get, a, again, another texture. When I'm looking for texture, I many times will go to these just for the texture, not for any kind of sense of accuracy like we just did. But the, but for the texture in in the uh, bristles. What we're really talking about is brushes. Different brushes do different things. An exquisite brush. Just to make that red bounce a little bit off that. As as it's drying, I can see how it's going to the color is going to show up more. Remember when you're working with watercolor, it dries. Some colors dry lighter, some colors might dry darker. And if you're mixing the colors, which we're going to do in a few minutes, you'll see that these brushes are very handy to draw. These, are, these brushes are beautiful to draw with. And those, and if you're working with ink, these are fine to use for ink too. This is not a, this is not a, a Series 7, but this is, this is a high quality brush, but nothing compared to the Series 7. The Series 7, I wouldn't, used on these uh, and, uh, because I, I, I don't like to see what happens with the brush sometimes a little surprise. A Series 7 is made not to have a surprise. It is people that have to have it right the first time use a Series 7. And that 
they, they have that point because they come, it comes from the tip of the tail. So it naturally comes to a point. This brush, this brush from Daniel Smith, I will roll it a little bit. It'll never make a point point. That's not, I wouldn't use this to have it make a point with. This one, I can make somewhat of a point, but the Series 7 I will make and that's a whole different, and it's a whole different way than I'm working right now. With this is where the paint's loose. And see, I want the paint to sometimes bleed when it's wet. I like it to flow. It's wet. Okay, as I'm looking at this very dry face here, I'm thinking of putting a, a layer of color on it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm saying to myself, I don't know which, what color I want to put there. But I think I'm going to a little bit of the cerulean blue. Okay, I'm going to take the pony hair brush. Put that blue into this red. It's the red we've been using and the blue we've been using, but when I'm going to mix the two, I will get that soft violet. As I add more red, a red violet, as if I added more blue, a blue violet. But now we're going to come in very lightly, I hit very lightly the face. Gives another dimension. It goes. The face goes back more. But the lights, the lighter, the lighter parts that that slightly greenish yellow coming up. So if I see areas where I might want to lighten it, keep that light a bit, it's a little bit there. But I don't want it to be even. out here. This is uh, just your regular Kleenex from the, the travel size, you know, the small size Kleenex. And it makes a great sponge. Essentially it works like a sponge, but you don't take everything off with it. And you have to hit it light. If you push on it, it'll take off more because I just used a lot of water to get that softness and, and the, the Kleenex. And there's, there's part of the face color on the, on the Kleenex. So this will dry, and uh, we will see what happens. Because the important thing about watercolors is to remember they're not finished until they're dry, and you can't finish them until you know how the color sets, unless you're doing a kind of abstract expressionist type of watercolor, then you then you're going to make uh, more expressionistic. You don't worry about it as much. But to get these certain layers that I'm talking about here and these small areas and the big area of the face, we really need it to dry and to see how it ends, how it dries in the end. 